Now I'm going to show you how to add a photo to Memory Press to, to this this chapter. I'm going to add a photo for to Jenny's story. And what you do is you go up here to the right and you click Add a Photo. Pretty simple. And you can see right here the photos are loading. And after they load, I can scroll down through them and I can pick a photo. I have quite a few uploaded. If I want to upload a new photo, I can click here and upload a new photo or I can upload multiple photos. But I want to find a photo of my little sister Jenny and I can search by album. I can go by person. But here, this looks like a good photo right here. So I'm going to drag this photo into my book, into Jenny's book, and drop in the photo. And it drops right in. And then if I want to write justify it, I can actually just move it over and it write justifies. And here's where you move it. You move it by, by clicking on move. You can change it to black and white or Sophia. I, I mean, so, um, sepia. <laughs> I, I can never say that word right. And then, or you can rotate it, and you can just rotate your photo around. I'm just going to rotate it right back, and you can enlarge it, zoom in. You can adjust from these borders. You can move the photo out, or in, or make it smaller, or however you want to do it. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And then I can type in a caption here at the bottom. I can write in Jenny and Nate, and click Enter, and it saves. Now, you can see that the photo's there, but it's not typeset. The text is actually underneath the photo. So what I need to do is I need to go up here to the top and click Retypeset. And what that does is it typesets the book and it will move all the text. And even though this is the first page of 50 pages, it's actually going to move everything in the book and retypeset the entire book. Voila. There you go. Looks beautiful. That's how easy it is to add a photo with memory press. Now, I'm going to go to the next page and I'm going to show you how to add a photo from Flickr. You can see right here at the bottom it says use Flickr photos. So I'm going to click on use Flickr photos. Now it's going to open a new window and it's going to import my Flickr photos. So you can see it says loading Flickr photos. This takes just a second. I'm sorry you have to wait. I'm sorry this is this add a photo thing is going to take a little bit longer. But it, it's, well worth, it's well worth the wait. So it's loading my photos from Flickr. Flickr is a great spot. Our, our photo album system is, is pretty good, but Flickr's is amazing. And so we wanted to use Flickr's photos. Now I'm going to add a photo. I was, in, um, the, I was in Oakland a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to move this photo in from when I was in Oakland, and I'm going to put it right here. And no particular reason why I put it there, but that's where I'm going to put it. And this time I'm not going to justify it, but I'm gonna, and I'm not going to put a caption under it. I'm just going to go up, and I'm going to click Retype Set. And once again, even though this is only the third page of 50 pages, it retypesets the entire book. Right now, it's typesetting the whole book, and there's my photo. And all the text moved behind it. That's how easy it is to add a photo in Memory Press. Now, if I want to delete a photo, I just take it, click on Move, it shrinks down, and I move it down to Trash, and it glows, and then I drop it in the trash, and then it's going to ask me to retypeset again because I moved it. And now it's typesetting again. It's moving everything back into place. And, um, and now it's retypeset. That's how easy photos are in memory press.